everybody, and uh, as we have done in the past, uh, we like to take this time, this time we get to do a show, uh, which we always appreciate, but uh, we would also like to take this time to try to help, try to help someone here. And uh, as Halloween has a lot to do with fear, uh, we thought what better time than now than to address one of your fears. So is there anyone out there who finds that they're struggling with some sort of uh, a real fear that they want to talk Phobia, about? Phobia, something that's uh, been weighing on you of late, or your, your entire life. Pregnancy. Pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, what's, uh, what, what are you so fearful about? The whole process. The whole physical aspect yeah. of it. What, uh, is, there a specific, uh, is there a specific piece that uh, replays in your mind? Uh, <laughs> I actually know. Um, <laughs> the whole, what happens at the end of the month, and then the and then for the next <laughs> What do you mean with the, 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 the exit? The exit. Yeah. That's, that's scary even to guys. So, well, is there anything afterwards? I mean, you, you think you'll be happy with the product? <laughs> I've dehumanized it. I, yeah. I, I, I've had a fear of it too for a while. And it, so it's I just not, refer to it as like. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a production of some sort. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, well yeah, we're going to work on that uh, right now, and uh, I think at the end of the show, you'll be totally cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, gonna, we're going to uh, we're gonna help uh, in the only way that we know how, right? Uh, which is uh, with the, the format of film. And so uh, tonight uh, we're going to do the genre of a horror movie, and help you with your fear of pregnancy. So hopefully this will be cathartic. Yeah, for all of us. All of us. Thank you. This is Stevenson. <laughs> Taking the fourth test. Yes. It's definitely positive. <laughs> it's a... It's growing inside you, right? Here. Shut your mouth! <laughs> I think you should be aware of the details. Listen, your life. I respect your medical degree, and I respect your medical profession, and I respect this office, in this beautiful office park, in this beautiful suburb. But now you're talking crazy. Growing? Growing inside you. Blech. It's going to, uh want nut nutrients, and uh, you're going to have to take care of yourself in a way that you've never taken care of yourself before. Your 400-pound frame should tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have the nutrients to spare. You have plenty of nutrients. <laughs> Conceivably, and I don't recommend it, but the baby could live off your body fat for the entire gestic the gesticulation. Well, now that you put that thought in my head, I can't get it out. Hey, whoa, hold on, hold on. I, uh, I brought out my sonogram machine. I thought maybe we could have a look at it. You want to look at it? What if it looks back? <laughs> Sometimes they do, but there's usually something on the photograph. They're not really looking back. I uh, want to make you as comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm seen. sorry about your last one. <laughs> okay. That's how we learn. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It's okay. I, uh, I reinforced it myself. I'm just going to take off your shirt a little bit. <laughs> you can just hold that for me. This is a cold gel. I think. <laughs> Have you done this before? <laughs> well, my Sonicon machine is new. I, uh, I know, I'm sorry about the last one. <laughs> so, yes, I, I've used it, but often I've had an assistant. I'm sorry about her, too. <laughs> go Thank you for keep, keeping me on as a patient. Well, I uh, took an oath. I couldn't deny you care. <laughs> I just, uh, bring down this screen that I had installed. Wow. <laughs> All right, now that's, uh, that is your fetus. We'll bring it up, right? <laughs> Tell me that's, that's normal. Right, uh, no, it's, that's the, that's the image. <laughs> <laughs> What's, you? Don't freak! You cannot freak well, out on I'm me! Not, I'm if not you freak out, out, I'm gonna start freaking out! I'm not freaking out. I just... I, it's, it's still morning. I'm not quite awake yet. I haven't had my coffee. But schedule me for afternoon appointments. Oh, uh, well, no, no. I don't want you leaving this office right now. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with you not being awake for a procedure. <laughs> <laughs> Something's hurting me. Are you Something's feeling anything I'm right feeling now? I'm feeling a lot of sharp pain. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I thought you were. I thought you were slitting your own throat. <laughs> <laughs> you put all the knives away. Uh, I was trying to keep this shirt okay. out of the way. <laughs> but uh, may I ask uh, about uh, your husband? You may ask. <laughs> <laughs> Where might he be from? Is he's he... from all over. He's a trucker. <laughs> <laughs> so he's on the road 360 days a year, and so I don't even know where he is all the time. So I just, he rolls into town for a week, for a year, and, and, and I just, I don't know if he even knows. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> uh, you feel any localized pressure, uh, maybe yeah. in down in your left corner of well, your you're abdomen? Pushing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pressure. Uh, some, I've never seen this before. Your your baby seems to have been, uh, some sort of mouth that it, it can ex externalize uh, out from its chest. Uh, hey, baby! <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm a doctor. I'm your... Oh, you're a fancy doctor, huh? Yeah. Well, I drive a truck. Oh, okay. This is my woman. I know. I've been working with her for the last ten minutes now. We're... All right, that's it. No, 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 no. I think you should uh, take a look at this. You what? Really? Oh. Baby. What a horrible time to be cheating on me with a doctor! I need to, no, 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 wait, wait, what did, what, no, uh, Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> see, I, I, I detect an odor of alcohol. He's drunk almost all the time. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This is my doctor, who I've almost ruined his practice multiple times just by breaking stuff. And he's taking me back, and he's providing medical treatment, there's nothing. Nothing to be jealous of. We're, we're pregnant, baby. We're yeah, pregnant. You are pregnant, but I don't know if you're out of the woods. Uh, there seems to be something with your fetus that I've never seen before. Uh, it's, it's growing at a rate that uh, 
is ten times the, 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 uh, the speed of, uh, of a normal fetus. Let me just stop you right there. Uh, I'm comfortable with you saying we're pregnant, because I get it, that's how people say it. <laughs> I should stop referring to it as my fetus. And I don't think that's right. I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot, Mr. Dr. Man, but I know, I know some. Oh, uh, okay, you, the, your wife's fetus. Thank you. Your future child. Yeah, so you're saying it's wrong. It's, it's messed up. There, it's up. There, there, it, it looks like, well, I, don't, I know this doesn't make sense to you, but uh, have you traveled out hey, of... you know how many gears are in a semi? No. 49. Right. That doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> That's right. I've uh, never seen anything like it before. Right. No, she uh, left with her husband uh, in his semi uh, back to their residence. Well, I thought of calling you, but I, I, I he was, he was talking. Strange. I, I couldn't understand them. It was some sort of colloquial, sort of rural slang that he kept throwing. <laughs> right. right. Now well, I'm new to the area. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, I saw something that I, I felt like you could help me out with. Well, you, you've been, you've been to different parts of the world. You've seen different things. You, you're in the military. I thought you guys practically sort of genetically engineer some of this stuff. I thought it could be one of yours. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So you're saying it's, uh, looks like an R14. <laughs> thought we got all them. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. So did it have a proboscis coming out of its mouth? <laughs> A no. proboscis? A proboscis, like a, a pro extra, a proboscis, not a conviscus. I don't know. It, 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 it looked like it, it had like an extension, like an antenna, like on an old television set. Uh, it seemed to like jet out from its, its <laughs> chest. Uh, and then it sucked, uh, and then another one came out, then another one, and then it was like a, a feelers, like, uh, like on uh, a paramecium. <laughs> you know, listen, I, uh, listen, this is very important. My captors are only going to give me another few minutes on the phone. Your captors? Uh, yeah, I'm in a prison camp and, uh, well, they don't even tell me where. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that thing is going to try and eat the host. <laughs> if that woman is anywhere south of, I don't know, I'd say 250 pounds, she will be killed. Oh, well, she's dead. Uh, uh, she's she died. Well, she's a she's at least four fifty. Oh, well, then she'll be fine. She'll oh, she she'll be fine. Well, it's gonna hurt like hell because it's gonna eat her from the inside. Out. Well, how much time do we have? But it is gonna be a hell of a soldier when it comes out. What is this? Do you, what, what do you know about this? <laughs> this is a black ops project. I can't even be talking about this. Are you okay? You're inside of. Uh, you've been captured. I haven't <laughs> seen another human being for. Eight years. <laughs> Does your situation take precedence of this, of this pregnancy? I don't know. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> well, should I call an ambassador or something? Right? Sure. <laughs> Am I the first person to have called you? No, I talk to somebody every day. They just never offer to help me. <laughs> that seems ridiculous. Well, you and I were war buddies, so... Should have known I could count on you. Well, now I, I, now I have the, the fate of your life and the fate of this woman's life in my hands. It's a lot of responsibility for a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll be fine. Someone slides me a phone with 30 minutes on it every day and a slice of bread and I drink rainwater from a leaking roof. You need to worry about that PR-14. PR-14. That's the, the nondescript thing that's inside that woman. Did you make that? I made it with some scientists and some other super soldiers, yeah. Well, should I get a hold of them? Maybe they know what to do, and no, maybe they can help you dead. out. They were all hosts at some point. They're all dead. <laughs> Are you the only person that knows about this? The only one in the world, and I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Hold your cattle.
<laughs> I was uh, told that I could find Sergeant Anderson in here. I told you that. <laughs> An old war friend of mine who's uh, in a dire situation. He's in a prison camp somewhere, and you two used to work with each other. What if? Didn't come near answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor! Oh, yeah, come on in. <laughs> How'd you go, Cornell? Yes, Big thank red you. guy. Yes. I have come to you about R14. That means something to you. You're good at reading people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's uh, it, there's one growing in a patient of mine. What? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's newly pregnant. And, no, uh, she's not. R fourteen takes six days to fully gesticulate. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably at least in her second trimester. If you can even have trimesters in a pregnancy that lasts less than a week. <laughs> so second day, what do you mean? Is she, she going to be okay? No, she's probably going to die if she's anywhere less than 250 pounds. No, she's a good 450. No, she'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also have another piece of information. Yeah, arm yourself. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 I don't need all these guns. You're going to roll out there with one shotgun? Well, I don't, I'm not even good with one. I don't know how I'd shoot two. I'm, I'm not a super action hero. <laughs> Thought you were a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> you, look, you look silly. Listen, when that thing comes out, and it will come out one way or the other, it's going to want to kill the first thing it sees. I think that's going to be you. You're going to deliver it, I imagine. Or you're going to try. I, 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 yeah. I, I figured we could surgically remove it. Wouldn't that be a... Uh... Oh, that's what it would like. Give it a knife. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, there's a... Uh, my, my, my friend that gave me this information, he's in a prisoner of war camp right now. And oh, we'll... Colonel Todd. Yes! Yeah. You know about this. Yeah, we all know where he is. <laughs> I talked to him last week, just about the World Series, bullshit like that. It's better. He's got too much information. You've got too much information. Am I... Do I have too many grenades? That's the question. <laughs> it is raining outside. <laughs> account for a dud. These old Vietnam grenades get wet then. Who knows? <laughs> well, I feel like we have enough firepower not to only take out the R-14, but also the... PR-14. The PR-14, and also the, the mother and the husband, and maybe their house and kids, and, you know, a neighbor. That all might be necessary. <laughs> what? You know what PR-14 means? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> down this road here. This hurts! What did you do to me? What did you do? <laughs> what? what did you do? We, uh, well, we had to give you a tranquilizer in your neck uh, to subdue you. Uh, you're lucky with the, gr the grenade happy ex-soldier back there wanted to blow you and your husband to smithereens. Nothing has decided yet, let me just say that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Still got plenty of grenades left, so we might all have to make a sacrifice here. I'm just glad I didn't have to use these shotguns. You looked awfully uncomfortable with those. Uh, it's hard to walk when you're holding two shotguns. Uh, we have to, uh, we have to remove that thing from you. Uh, yeah, in, in like nine months. No, no, in, in, in about, uh, well, before Thursday. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's reproducing, it's, it's becoming... What is it becoming? It's uh... <laughs> only the world's finest killing machine. Okay. Do you, do you know what PR fourteen means? No. Good. You <laughs> <laughs> still won't. Tell I don't us. know. What it means. <laughs> Pregnancy related? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just I have, I have no idea how she would even conceive a PR fourteen. Do you? I uh, I mean, when's the last time that you you had sex? About a year ago with my husband when he was in town. For his week, so I didn't know, I didn't quite understand it. If it was just like dormant. Cut to that scene.
You home, baby? I just dropped off a bunch of military waste in Utah. <laughs> And I got <laughs> drunk the whole way back, and then I slept in my trailer, because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know I love the smell of military waste and Jim Beam. <laughs> well, then I'm your dream guy, sweetheart. Why don't you go over to the windowsill and look out? Let the neighbors watch. <laughs> <laughs> It was just like normal. <laughs> Once a year. Ah. Ah. You sound like you guys. We see you in the stomach. <laughs> it is getting bigger. All right. Well, uh, the containment facility is just up here. It's gonna look like the side of a mountain. You're just gonna drive right into it. It's a mirage. <laughs> no, I mean, no, you gotta go full speed. You gotta no, go full speed or else <laughs> no one will believe you. Everyone will think you're a Put that the mountain in the metal doctor! Drive into the mountain! Just drive into the mountain! Drive into the mountain! <laughs> ah. Oh! Ooh. Oh! I uh I sure hope this works! <laughs> No one's made it into the base in a long time. What happened? Well, you kept driving after you went through the mirage and pretty much trashed everything we have here. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to stop at some point. I was, I was told to drive right into the side of the mountain. No one told you to stop? No. I'll give you a pass on that one. <laughs> I'm Dr. Ferguson. Work for the military. Hmm? Special projects. Dr. Anderson, I used to be a podiatrist, and then I got into delivered babies. <laughs> Common course. <laughs> Looks like you have a PR-14 that's about uh, four days gesticulated. <laughs> can, can you help us? <laughs> <laughs> it's training right inside her belly. Yeah, that's what they'll do. You didn't give it any knives or any weapons, did you? No, I was gonna cut it open. I could do that right no, now. That's stupid. That's stupid. Give it a knife. I would just use the knife to cut it. Well, what are we gonna do? I should... It's gonna kill her if it, if it ever gets out. It's gonna kill any of us. It's gonna kill all of us. You tell him, Doc. Good to see you again, by the way. You're doing fine there, sweetheart. What's it been? Been 12 years. Alright. Well, let's just let bygones be guide bygones. <laughs> <laughs> we two know each other. <laughs> Did a mission together. Yeah, we uh, had to create uh, the ultimate fighting device, which is how we've ended up here today. We're officially on lockdown! Officially on lockdown, you! Listen to me, I'm your father. I created you, Dr. Ferguson. <laughs>